my channel. Welcome back to another video. I'm Jessie and you're watching. Welcome to this month's Illumicrate unboxing. I am so excited to dig into another Illumicrate box because y'all know I loved the first box that I got from them and they continue to send me boxes. I am literally a hot mess. The only good thing about my channel is the people who watch it. I love y'all so freaking much. My partner for this video is none other than Teamy Blend. So Teamy is a woman-owned lifestyle brand and they create wellness products as well as skincare products. And they reached out to me and asked if I would be interested in receiving one of their products because they know that I do a lot of yoga over on my Instagram. So they were like, would you be interested in any of our wellness products? And then they linked me to their greens powder, their collagen powder, and then their restoration powder. And I ended ended up going with the greens powder because it's a superfood blend. It's got matcha and spirulina and wheatgrass. Those are the top three things in it. And I'm a huge matcha fan. I drink matcha tea lattes almost every morning. I'm always posting them on my Instagram. I freaking love matcha. So in addition to that, this has 16 superfoods in it as well. And it is vegan and 100% plant-based as well as gluten-free, dairy, and soy-free. So yeah, spoiler alert, I did genuinely love that. I'm using that now for my matcha tea lattes in the morning. So huge thank you to Teeny for sending me that. And if you um, aren't interested in any of Teamy's products, I will leave a discount code for you in the description box of this video in case you decide to purchase any of their products for yourself. I do get a 10% commission as a heads up if you do decide to use that code. Okay, that was a lot. I don't know why I can't just shut up and just film a video. <laughs> So I li I'm literally moving out of this place tomorrow, so I don't really care if you guys see my address on this box. Like you can stalk me if you want, but I don't live here anymore. Okay, okay so spoiler card, I looked away. Ooh, there's a random button. Hey, and it's got a phoenix on it. So I'm guessing that this has to do with a book that has a phoenix on it, or is that an eagle? I don't know what it is. Let's put it here on Black Flamingo. All right, papel, papel. And this gaha. So we're gonna see. We're gonna see what this is. Okay, this is literally chastity belted. I'm not coming for your daughter's honor. I just want to open this box. One hour later. Oh my gosh. One hour later. The only thing that's worse than me at opening up is this box. One hour later. And it's got bubble wrap. Actual footage of me trying to open up to another person. 12 years later. Ooh, it really wasn't that much bubble wrap. I was being dramatic. Um, this is a handbook of celestial observations. Cute. It's just like a, um, a bookend. That's freaking awesome. I've never had one of these. Oh, no, 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 no. It's not a bookend. It's, um... It's a pencil case holder. Pencil holder is that, what is the word for that? Um, this is gorgeous and I'm going to set it down um, immediately because I'm really worried about um, dropping it. All right, next, yo, okay, it's a notebook. It says, never allow yourself to believe you should be silent, agreed. If more people spoke up instead of shut up, the world would be a better place. This is really, really cute. It reminds me kind of of Lisa Frank with the coloring. Um, oh, and it's blank. This is cool. I can use this for my um, bullet journaling. This is awesome. Then there is a pair of black sunglasses and these say Rebel Scum. Oh, I kind of have an idea for the book. Um, is it Hawk Down or whatever, that Hawk Down book everyone was reading? It says Elia. Ooh, he's fine. Not as fine as my girlfriend though. Oh, she's cute. Not as cute as my girlfriend though. I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna be one of those people, I swear to God. Helene, Ly Lila, and um, Marcus. These character cards are precious. I really dig these. I really, really dig these. All right, the book's in here, but I'm not looking at it yet. So bookmark, not gonna look at it because it's a spoiler, I'm sure. Fable and Black Monthly Animal Pin, and this says Queen Kills King. This is a really cool freaking pin. I'm probably gonna put this on, um, my jacket immediately when I'm done filming this video. Here is a, oh, this is cool. It's um a keychain and it says books and baubles. That's cool. I thought it was awesome even before I realized that it had an actual, you know, um, other part to the keychain. I don't know what's wrong with me. I can't speak English today. This is The Seven Devils uh, by Elizabeth May and Laura Lamb. I have not heard of this book at all. Um, 
I talked about this on Twitter, but I've been, I haven't watched booktube. I've watched like Starla's videos, but other than Starla, because she's one of my besties, I haven't seen booktube in like two months because of depression and just everything that I'm going through. So I'm caught up. I'm, I'm catching up. Um, I've been binging Hannah's videos, um, catching up on Starla's videos, Chanel's videos all day. And I'm going to continue binging, but I'm kind of out of the loop on what's trending on booktube right now. So I, I don't like it. I don't like that. I haven't caught up with y'all. I don't know what y'all are talking about. Enjoying, not enjoying. I feel so disconnected from the community. It makes me feel icky. And, um, I'm glad that I'm finally coming out of my depression and I can start posting content again and watching your videos again and I will be getting caught up like don't think I'm just gonna not just let it let it stay on on watch no I support the channels of the people that I'm subscribed to as hard as I possibly freaking can like I will put y'all's videos on um, in the background sometimes so I can make sure that y'all get ad revenue like I support my fellow booktubers um so yes, I will get caught up on your videos. That was a lot. Okay, anyway, getting off of the soapbox. I'm guessing that this is queer because it's just giving me queer vibes. Long story short, I don't know anything about this. That's all, all of that to say. Um, oh, this is cool. Um, and it's got, you know, a signed little placard from the authors. That's adorable. So checking over the, the synopsis, I'm seeing a lot of, of challenging of the galactic rule. There's a deadly cargo ship that is traveling around gaining intelligence. There's fugitives uh, and there's a new heir to the throne and there's a lot of disruption. Unless this band of rebels stops this one person, a bunch of people's gonna die. That sounds freaking awesome. It sounds very, very just deliciously sci-fi-y, like a YA sci-fi vibe. I don't know if this is an adult book, but I'm getting YA vibes. And this cover is gorgeous. So that is gonna do it for this video. If you made it this far in this video, comment down below with the word resistance, because we should all be thinking about the ways in which we should be resisting in our daily lives, and because resistance is actually the theme of this book. Thank you so much for watching another Bowties and Books production. If you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would absolutely love it if you became a part of my bookish family. All my social media links are going to be in the description box below. Until next time, stay safe, wear your mask. Can't wait to see you in my next video.